So this question is about a pendulum and we're given the mass of the bob, we're given the length of the pendulum, and we're asked to find the magnitude of the restoring force. So the restoring force is the force that's going to drive the bob back to its equilibrium position. Okay, so the restoring force is proportional to the angle theta. So the actual formula for the restoring force is F equals minus MGS over L, where S is the length of this arc. So this arc, that's S. Now, you'll notice that because this is simple harmonic motion and it, the question doesn't mention simple harmonic motion explicitly, but it does say that it's moving through one degree. So this angle is one degree. And generally, the condition for harmonic motion or simple harmonic motion is that theta is less than 15 degrees. Okay, so we can assume that we do have simple harmonic motion. So S is the length of this arc, and the length of the arc is um, a function of L and theta. Now, if L or if uh, theta is in radians, then we can simply say the arc length is the product of L times theta, L being the radius of the circle. Um, so a circle centered here, the radius of the circle would be the length of the string. So we can say S equals L theta on the strict condition that theta is in radians. So if you substitute that, or this rather, back into there, that gives us, and because they're asking for the magnitude, we don't need the direction, so we can say the magnitude of F is simply M G L theta divided by L, and we're allowed then to cancel the lengths and you'll find that the restoring force is actually independent of the length of the pendulum. It's proportional only to the mass and the angle. So if we substitute the numbers we're given, we've got three times G times theta. Now theta they've given us as one degree, but we need to convert it to radians. So we need to convert the one degree into radians. And to do that, we need to multiply by pi and divide by 180. And that really should give you your answer. So it's simply whatever that is um, in a calculator. So it's um, 3 times 9.81 times pi divided by 180. So it's 0 0.51 newtons. OK, so that's, that's how you would approach a question like this. So your restoring force is given by this formula. The arc length is this formula. If you combine the two, you'll notice that the L's cancel out and you have that there. If you were to answer this in degrees rather than um, uh, radians, you would need to use an approximation. Um, sine theta is approximately equal to theta if theta is very small. So 
because strictly speaking, F is equal to mg sine theta over L. And no, actually, there's no L. It's mg sine theta. And we can approximate sine theta to theta. So you end up with the same equation, mg theta. So that's how you would answer a question about the restoring force for a pendulum.